Um, I am filming a documentary and Anthony is saying that I can't be in it because a, do a real documentary. Uh, You're driving. <laughs> I'm not looking at it. <laughs> uh, a real documentary that you, you are a fly on the wall um, in this situation. And, uh, Anthony? What? Uh, I think I can still be, make a documentary about our band as well as I'm filming it. I don't. Okay, this is John Garrison's documentary about Sam Porter, Anthony Elliott, and Tim Rourke, and Chris Parr. Uh, I'm just observing my friends. <laughs> we're gonna have to pack merch in there and stuff soon. Okay. So we have these two cases plus the pedal board was gonna weigh and yeah. now I'm worried that that's not gonna work. There's definitely room underneath my board to like put some stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think giving it, yeah, at least a five pound wiggle room. Zero. No, it, you're wrong, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, so yeah, it's go wild. So anxiety inducing, like all the way up until we get on the plane and then like when we get in, in the van. It's just like all this stress, and then you get in the van, and it just all of a sudden feels normal. So Tim, are you excited for your first tour? It's my second tour, and yes. First European visit? European visit, European tour. Tour longer than eight days. You a lot of first. You can eat so much bread. Anthony, how are you feeling? Cold. Let's go. Anthony, we leave in two days. Uh, how are you feeling about it? the tour you know nervous excited we're blazing a trail it's a weird time to fucking go on tour in general let alone try to fly across the ocean to go on tour do you think that it'll be better than the first time that we went to europe i think it'll be really different i don't know if it'll be better or worse yeah i, th I think like it'll be better i think we're in better head spaces um as a band and i think uh this, it seems a little more planned out just got some euros at uh, chase bank in chicago so when we land in germany we can pay the person that is dropping off the van that we're renting um, right away and, and avoid some uh, rental charges or uh, exchange charges say so, yeah, i am excited to tour with i am excited to tour with kali Masi. <laughs> I got a microphone and some film and a light. Stop, no, no paparazzi. We leave tomorrow. How are you feeling about it? Can I give you some advice, John? <laughs> yeah. When you're cutting stuff together, if you want to do interviewee stuff, you should like word questions or have people word their answers so that people don't have to hear your question off camera. You know what I mean? Okay, give me an example. It's like if you were to ask, how are you feeling about tomorrow? And someone answered, good. Then your question would be necessary for the answer to make any sense. But like, if you're like, how are you feeling about, like, could you describe how you're feeling tomorrow? Okay, or yeah, whatever. that's really, and I would that's be really like, good. And I would be like, um, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm 
kind of nervous about how uh, the flights are gonna go, and just kind of think everyone's kind of on edge. And... Oh, okay, do you think what do you think will go wrong? Describe um, it. Describe what you would think would <laughs> would go wrong. I guess like I'm afraid that like all this sort of like in in worrying about like certain details, we're gonna forget certain other details. Each of our brains only has the capacity for like so much stress at one time. Okay. You know Thanks. what I mean? Cool, cool. Anything else? No. What are you doing here, Sam? I am laminating our vaccine cards because we're gonna be pulling them out and showing them to people a lot in Europe and probably gonna get fucked up and they're super important. So I don't want them to get blood and piss and cum all over them. The most I was wondering who was the most likely to get lost in Europe. And, I know and this was a really convenient shape before, just a nice wallet size, but it's a little bigger now. I never. Anthony said it was me. Okay, it would never fit in. And, and so did I, I'm sorry. Uh, I take it as a compliment. Guys, we don't have any money anymore. It's gone. Just spent it all on a laminator. Uh, we had some wiggle room before. We can't count anyone. Well, third Wednesday, we decided? Yes. 12 30, we meet here. Uh, John, who's driving us? I don't know yet. I'm working on it. We got when we're like finally having fucking beers in Berlin in our hostel. I will be like, we fucking made it. At least Germany. Like we made it as far as Germany, and we're good for some German shows. But ever seen the movie Hostel? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping good input. it's. I'm ready for anything right now. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to not go. Thanks for taking us, Sean. I'm making a documentary. <laughs> I'm making Peter Stud. Uh, Chris was on a different flight than us, and we got to the airport, and his flight was non existent. I don't know what happened with that, but he's trying to get on a, a new flight, which hopefully is the same one as us, so he can come with us to Europe. Do we want to wait? Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to go. Yeah. I got in. Same We're flight? going the same flight. All right. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind if I film the video too? You can film it. Thank you. You're really good looking. I hope we're on the same flight. <laughs> we are now. What's your name? <laughs> With each band, he's essentially telling the same story. How they started and how they got into a major label and what that process was like for them internally and externally and how it like affected them in their career. But it's radically different for every single band. It's gonna feel a lot weirder, I think, when the sun is up. My head hurts because I drank two Heinekens and didn't sleep. My first steps in Europe are kind of tiring. Big airport here in Amsterdam. There it is. 8 a.m. local time, 1 a.m. Chicago time. We're about to meet Connor, our tour manager, for the first time. I've never met him in person, except uh, Zoom and email. I hope he likes this. I think he, he's going to put up with us. How do you feel? I'm gonna step outside for a breath, all right? I uh, get all the germs, all the diseases off of me, so none of us get sick and we don't have to cancel this tour. You know what I'm talking about, motherfucker? Put on my nose. Skills McGee over here. Um, so we have all been up for at least 24 hours now. We flew into Berlin, got all of our gear, got our van that we're gonna use, met our driver Connor. And now we are staying at this little hotel uh, outside of Berlin. We're gonna stay up as long as late as we can tonight or for a few more hours. How you feeling? So good. Berlin on our first official day of tour. I think we've all just probably collectively slept a hundred hours between the six of us to kind of write ourselves onto the top of the Still a little tired. 
Yeah, weird, weird night's sleep. Oh yeah, we've got a two and a half hour drive to Ramshik. Two and a half? I think so. It's only a couple hours. Yeah, the first gig tonight is Ramshik, and we feel strange. What's <laughs> up? I'm Connor. I drive TM. TM to the stars, otherwise known as a great guy. See you around. <laughs> This is Tim in our first German bathroom in a gas station, free to pee. 50 euro to, that's not true, one, what, 50? 50 semi-euro? To pee, to poop. To poop. How weird is it feeling? It feels good for us. I mean, we've yeah. had shows going on in America for a while, but yeah. I know it's a little bit more cautious here. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's starting to get more cautious. How does it feel for you? The, the last two weeks, you, you are our fourth show. The last two weeks have been good. Yeah. We got some two laminates, we got some lighters, which is kind of crazy. Some long ears. Please, sir. Thank for it. Please, sir, give me one. What is that? Yes. Found one on the ground. We're at this beautiful venue. It's like a youth center for kids after school. They come to school here. Well, they come to after school care. And so there's a venue upstairs. I'm excited, we got the merch all set up. It looks like people are already dancing. So it's gonna be a good night. Are they really? No. Uh. <laughs> are you gonna dance tonight? I'm gonna dance tonight. Yes, all right. yes. I have a lot of wiggles to get out of me from flying all the way over here. <laughs> Thank you for the food. Thank you, Fed. Thank you for playing with us. For sure. Thank you for coming to Europe again. That's okay, now we know. All right, the van's not broken. Yeah, that's the best bit. Yeah, but can we talk about how Connor did the wrong thing one time? I'm so fucking mad. Save it I for know. tomorrow, Andy. <laughs> I know, we have time no. to talk about it tomorrow, right? No? So I just ordered a hot chocolate because I can't understand the language. Did you get it? Oh yeah, because are I... you always intentional? No. <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch like Headspace? Ooh, you got Headspace out. Oh, yeah, I know. You yeah. guys are like, you're not trying to do anything too much or too little. And it's just like, it's like yeah, his, yeah. his uh, explanation so relaxing. I always thought about doing that with like restringing a guitar. Mm -hmm. That's like a little more violent, but like just being like, slow here, so give some so this slow. winding advice. Watch Monsters Inc. just being like, holy shit, all the, every individual hair on Sully. Yeah. You can see it's incredible. And now it's like, kinda like, it seems like they probably like exhausted like 80% of their team on that. <laughs> so I honestly don't even know why we're here. <laughs> I wish I could climb one of these walls, but I think we're just doing something logistical, dropping things off here with a guy who has a climbing class. That's Robert, the guy that we are renting our gear from. How long did you start? Yeah. 
<laughs> Where are we? Uh, Netherlands. Some city, I don't know where I am ever. Thank you all so much for being here, and I know it's uh, it's weird to be seated at a rock show. Um, it's weird to play for seated folks, but it's really fun. I'm glad you all have little carriers for your drinks. It's really cute. Uh, in the Netherlands, we just played a show to a 25, 25 people, 25 maximum people room, and they were all sitting down because I think because of COVID, that was why. 25 cap, baby. 25 Sold out. Cap. Sold out uh, show uh, here. Really weird watching in the Netherlands. Just, uh, sit down and stare at us, and I, I think they liked it because they bought a bunch of merch afterwards. And they asked for an encore, and we did not give it to them. <laughs> This is what's up with it. I don't even know. Tonight was really fun. Um, I had a bunch of uh, good times. People yeah. were dancing in their seats. I saw that. I videotaped them. <laughs> when you said uh, uh, the fake tree line, there was a fake tree in front of me. So I was like, holy shit, a fake tree. And then that was exciting. Um, anyway, was exciting. the uh, video is going to be sick. OK, that's all the money. <laughs> I don't I didn't count before, so I don't know how much we made. Is it, just, is it just above us, just hanging out? It's uh, out here, yeah, check it out. Whoa. For our fake reality. Look at that, that's a pretty straight line. That's a pretty good line. I want to rock. Rock. I want to rock. Rock. Uh, give me that, give me that shit. Uh, today we're in Antwerp. Uh, we got here way before we had to be at the show, so we got to walk around. Uh, it's a really beautiful city. There's a uh, marathon going on, and uh, I'm excited for the show tonight. I'm in this city full of uh, full of beautiful images that I just don't know which one to take. So many people, so many beautiful, so much. Why don't you take them all? Not a bad idea. Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, I had diarrhea yesterday and I'm feeling better today. So I'm gonna go look for a probiotic drink, then a banana. I'm kind of sleepy, but I'm enjoying walking around town with all my buddies. Antwerp is one of my favorite cities in Europe. I think it's beautiful. And uh, if I'm ever on the run from the law, I will probably be found in Amsterdam. Hi. These are the biggest shots I've ever had. Sam broke a string. That was yeah, our first yeah. like major gear malfunction. So not too bad. You know what's funny for, about for that sure. is that I, I replaced the string with the wrong string. I broke a D and I replaced it with an A and just cranked it. Oh wow. And I was just like, all right, I hope this holds. <laughs> they worked out. Huh? What's up? Edith, ask me a specific question. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is up with the, the government? What's your whole thing? What's going on with our whole fucking thing? What's this thing? You're right there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> We 
We're leaving Lear. We're going to Trier. Fuck <laughs> it in! Get in! He's gonna get like hit by a car or something. Alright. <laughs> They close it for well, seemingly no reason. I I'm bet sure. you can't go right. I'm sure. Yeah, I I'm sure I can. Way out. Two way straight. Right. <laughs> yeah. See, he's driving down this way. Uh, we're it's called an elaborate city. Because when you drive down the street, everyone leers at you. Yeah, we're getting leered at. We just can't get out of town, but we will. I'm gonna try this. It's a taco that's fried. So, very interesting stuff at these service stations. I'm a happy, happy, happy American boy. Day two of actually having some sun. I think sun is very important to being seven hours different from your home. Belgian gas stations, pretty cool. Lots of pastries. I think they also just sell hot dogs in breading, like in just pre-packaged on shelves. That's pretty weird. Beautiful place. Got coffee, I got snacks. I've been eating bread every morning for like, Three fucking days. I know. Excited to eat some snacks, drink some coffee. I'm feeling good. What? I thought the ba you usually have to pay for the bathrooms. I know. I'm just telling you the documentary, dude. See, Anthony will never know. Because he's the one that will get mad about this. Welcome in. Punch. What are you doing, Sam? We, a couple of the venues that we have been to, we have to fill out a form so they can keep track of us and know basically because of Corona that we come in and give them all of our information in case something happens. If someone were to test positive here, who's been here? It's, a, it's just a safety precaution. One, two, everybody, everybody, everybody living now. I don't think I could take another day of it. are about to meet Bobby, who is a person that booked this entire tour for us. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Yeah, I'm Fabi. I booked this Kali Masi tour. I think it was three times because of the fucking pandemic that came between this. I first met the guys in Hamburg, although I actually set up the, their first Euro European show here with uh, my friend Christoph over there, uh, but I wasn't here. So I first saw them in Hamburg at Booze Cruise Festival. The show was so amazing. I mean, every, everyone was like, wow, this band is so cool. And then I was like, oh, fuck you. You can probably make a shitload of money with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> and my first thoughts, to be, to be honest, I catch the guys and we had a few beers afterwards. Do you uh, book a lot of European tours for US bands? Yeah, I mean, I worked for several agencies before okay. where we booked uh, bands like Spanish Love Songs. For myself, I only booked uh, European bands before. Okay. So actually, you're the first American band where where I am 100% responsible for over here. Thank you. I think you've done a great job. <laughs> yeah. It's been great. No, it's it's really great fun to work with you guys because you know what you want to do and you're 100% professional. Oh wow, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard so much bullshit in my life. <laughs> Get that out of my face! Get that out of my face! Uh, I know Karimasi since I think four years. A friend of me, Hotsi, uh, showed me the music. We met in Trier first yeah. time. Yeah. I think for Karimasi was the first show in Germany ever. I think it was not well attended the show, but we had fun anyway. The music on uh, LP was not that punk rock, but <laughs> when uh, attending the show, you feel the energy. <laughs> So, yeah, it got what? Uh, anything else? I don't know. Zero, oh, nice dudes. Oh, cool. Oh. Even though we're on like day four, I feel like this tour has been one of the more comfortable ones in the sense that the venues out here have been providing us with accommodation. Been in hotels every night. Tonight's the first night that we're in a band flat, which is just the room above the venue, full of beds that we can sleep in for free. In the States, we have to stay at Friends or pay for a hotel or something. We're at Lucky's Luke in Trier, and the last time 
that we were here. We played a, a show, then came up here to go to sleep, but the, the venue downstairs turned into a dance party until 5 a.m. That was just thumping. It was literally the worst sleep of my entire life. So tonight, I already asked, they're not open till 5 a.m. tonight, and no party afterwards, which is tight. So I think we're gonna get, get a good night's sleep after the show. For me, it was, uh, it was so much love and energy. I, I can taste the, the feeling, I can taste the, the explosive in my whole body. And I like it to dance, I like it to feel the energy, and it was a very cool show. I just wanted to say uh, Kali Masi, uh, the singer, Sam, he uh, remembered my dog, Nikki. When I played here two years ago, I passed by with my dog and everyone took pictures of my dog and he remembered my dog. Nice and sweet.